Hey guys, well here's an update on our trailer project. We've been working on this thing quite a bit here in the evenings, just uh, picking at it when we have time in between a business trip and travel and all those sorts of things. Um, not much has happened up front, um, but we did go ahead and actually welded on uh, some new hooks here for the chain, some new loops I should say, more so than hooks. Uh, so we got those welded on the front. Uh, originally I was going to weld them up top, but I decided to put them down here on the front side just because I thought it would be a stronger point, a little closer to the mounting point of the tongue in the trailer. So we went ahead and put those there. They do need cleaned up. Um, and whatnot, we just got them welded at this point and then just left it because the weather started to change on us. Uh, as far as the decking, we're going to go ahead and actually power wash this thing. I don't know if we'll do it today per se, but um, hopefully maybe we'll be able to. Um, just to bring some new life to this thing. Uh, one other thing we've gone ahead and done is actually pre-drilled for new marker lights. There was really no light marker lights on this thing at all. There was just the rear tail lights. And then um, a couple reflectors, um, one of which you can see the sticker residue right here. I need to have to clean off with the wire wheel or something. Uh, scrape them off first, obviously. But um, anyways, there was just one of those on each side and the rear tail lights, and that was it. So we're going to go ahead and actually, we're adding a whole bunch of marker lights to this thing to make it a little easier to see at night. Uh, so we've gotten... Uh, three holes here, two for mounting and one for the wire in the middle. Uh, I'll try to snag a video here of the tail lights, uh, I mean of those marker lights, and we'll throw it in here. Um, then we, So we've gone ahead and put one there. There's going to be a marker light there. We've gone ahead and actually we purchased the new fenders that I had talked about. So those came in, but unfortunately, well, at least for me, uh, these plates um, that came pre-welded uh, onto it for mounting were actually a fair bit higher than the old ones. The old fenders had them welded about down here, so it was about two inches uh, lower. So this, if you guys uh, recall in our last video, maybe you go back and rewatch it or whatever, but this angle piece was actually mounted. Uh, this surface was up at the bottom of that surface there, and it was all welded solid, so we actually uh, carefully cut that off and removed it, cleaned it all up, and then re-welded it up top um, just so that way it could fit this fender which now all fits really nice. Um, and these are newer to match the to the new trailers that they're making now of this brand so it'll make it easier than if this gets damaged I can uh, just buy new ones and replace them. Um, so we've gone ahead Rewelded that both on the front and the back and on both sides. Drilled new holes for the uh, the actual mounting screws. And then as you can see right here, here's another set of screws where I'm going to put an amber colored marker light on the trailer. Uh, as far as wheels, we actually went ahead and purchased the new set of wheels. So they're going to look pretty sharp. Hopefully I'll be able to maybe flash a picture of them up here on the screen or something for you guys. Uh, they're going to look really sharp. They're kind of a burnt chrome look, not a full chrome, but definitely a lot better than the, the white rims, the standard, you know, typical trailer rims. Um, this tire back here was just really nasty. The other ones weren't uh, looking the greatest. They were still had tread and life. Um, they'll be great for a spare uh, or two, and um, if anybody needs a couple spares, let me know, and we can try to work out a deal. Um, we had removed the ramp hideaways that used to be hanging on the, the back here. So we removed those. Those are no longer there. Cut all the bracketry off and then re-welded it right here. So that way the ramps actually now slide in the side. There's uh, the two halves that kind of come together. Hopefully that shows up on the video. And um, now the, the ramps hide away in the side. This just slides out and the, there's the ramps. Uh, going ahead and... Uh, uh, welded that um, and uh, then we've also added a step here on top of that. Why? Uh, one to keep your foot from going through the ramp because that could really hurt and um, just to have some uh, easier access onto the trailer for when you need it. I still need to actually do the pins to hold the ramps and uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work just yet. Um, the, the old ones came through the side but this has this angle iron in it so the access is just really hard to get at uh, and it's just these slides so much easier when they're actually upside down versus uh, right side up and they make a lot less noise 
Um, so I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to put the pins in. I think I'm just going to drill them in at an angle and come through this bottom piece and then we'll pin them. Uh, one on each side just to hold them in place. Um, this will be uh, easier to show in a later video. Um, but what we did was we picked up some uh, cheap trailer jacks, uh, like Harbor Freight Specials or whatever. 2,000 pound um, jacks and we've welded the mounts uh, on the back, one on each side. And um, so that way we don't have to worry about using jack stands or anything underneath the back of this trailer. We can just slip those jacks on and then uh, use that to help hold up the, the back of the trailer. What that does is it uh, removes a lot of the stresses that my truck would have to endure. So if I drive up here with a heavy car or even a truck, uh, the back of the trailer is definitely getting pushed down and whatever weight is pushing down here is lifting up on that end and that's the what the truck is then experiencing that weight. So what having these jacks will do is allow the jacks to take the weight when I pull up onto the trailer and um, it'll just make it easier to get a... and um, with a better angle as well as just having the truck not have to experience the stress. That's ultimately what was my convincing point of hey I need to do something about that. Uh, and it'll just look better. Still need to fix the boards back here, just doing a lot of the metal working. Um, half the battle is just removing the old fenders and doing a lot of the cleanup work of cutting things off of this trailer that didn't need to be there. Uh, cutting the back trailer hideaways so that way they could be reworked. Redoing the fenders, I mean it just all takes time, just step by step. But we got it all welded on and it's looking pretty good. Still need to do obviously all the, um, the wiring yet and um, those sorts of steps, but that'll happen actually after paint. So we're gonna clean up this with a wire brush here, hopefully in a little bit. We're gonna give this thing a new coat of paint, and then we'll install all the wiring. The new wiring, the new lights, everything. We got some more holes for uh, marker lights there. Uh, just making it easier to see. Same sort of thing on this side, guys. Uh, same mounts for the fenders and everything we talked about. Same places for marker lights. So there you go guys, just a quick update on our trailer progress and what we've been up to. Uh, it's coming along pretty well. It's definitely looking a lot better than it did when we purchased it. And um, hopefully the next time you see it, it'll have the, uh, the frame painted, the deck will be washed, new wheels, working lights, all that sort of thing. That's hopefully what I'll do here is get you guys more of a finished product at this point. You don't really need to see all the nitty gritties in between, but here you go. That's some progress on our trailer. We've been working on it for anybody who's been asking. So there you go guys, and until the next video, we'll talk to you later.